Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about making an Etsy style artsy printable in Canva. Uh, Canva is one of the best ways to do this. It's free. There's a lot of free resources so you can kind of do it for no cost which is great. Um, so we're going to talk about that today. So the thing about Canva is there's so many different size options. You could do a full size 18 by 24 inch poster if you wanted. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to be doing a regular flyer size page. And really quick, I wanted to show you guys another cool feature. For doing this, you can actually upload your own fonts. So if you're like me and you download free fonts at the any opportunity that you get, uh, you can put all of those fonts in here to use for this. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to be creating a little kind of Wonder Woman style nursery type quote today with this graphic, this free graphic that I got from Pixabay. And we will link to that below. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here and I want it big but not too big. And you'll see as you start to drag it towards or away from the middle there's a center line, some guides to help you there. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and leave the background white. Now you can go through here and there are several different font pairings that you can base your printable on. So this is also really helpful if you're trying to make any kind of invitations or anything. You can see some really great font pairings right here. But for the purpose of this we're just going to go in and use a font that I like to use. And we'll pull this up here to the center. see if this is what I ultimately want. Yeah, I think this one looks a little bit better, so we'll go ahead and bump up the size here. I'm going to pull this up just a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go ahead and copy this because it's the right size that I already need. And then I'm actually thinking that I want to make this word a different font, so I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put this over here. And then I'm going to add some additional text. Because I want this to be a text that stands out differently a little bit. So I'm going to just kind of cycle through some of these here. And once I've ultimately got the font that I want, I will make any alignment adjustments that I need. Again, you can move these and find guidelines of where to align things, although these are different fonts, so they line up a little bit differently, um, and we ultimately have them lined that way. Now, up here, you can go and title this. That's where you're going to save your title. You'll see you have unsaved changes here, and when you download, you have the option of PDF, PNG, JPG, animated GIF, and you can also order prints. You can make public so that other people can edit this or save it as well. And it's very simple to create your own printables this way. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.